So before we get into this week's video guys, I just want to give a massive shout out to the names that you're seeing on the screen just now. These people support me on Patreon and if you want to support me on Patreon as well, the links will be in the video description below. But for just now, let's get on to this week's vlog. Hey there lads and lasses, it's Wilsker bringing you another vlog and today I am going to be going on a learning journey. This is part of the St Andrews One Act of Kindness campaign, they emailed me about it. This is not a sponsored video at all, it was just a video that I thought I'd like to take part in. I decided that I could kill two birds with one stone because I've been thinking about volunteering at the food bank anyway so that I could learn about how bad the situation is with food poverty in Scotland, especially around my area of West Lothian and also because we are doing a collection for for West Lothian Food Bank at my work. So it would also give me a chance to know what food it is that they're looking for, what kind of foods they don't get enough of, etc, etc, because I'm doing both a monetary collection and a food donation collection at my workplace. So this is gonna be me tackling a lot of projects all in one go, and mostly for my own education as well, and so I could take you guys with me, because if you live in the Scotland area, you might then understand what kind of foods people need, and just in general, what the food poverty is like for the people of Scotland. So I'm really excited. I'm a bit apprehensive. I hope they know that I'm filming YouTube. I did say it in the email, but whether or not they read it all is another thing entirely. So we'll get there and we'll see what the situation is like. So I'm here helping out the food bank in Tesco and Bathgate just now. So they have kindly given me a very fancy little bib to wear. And all I've done is been handed out leaflets to try and encourage people to donate to the food bank. So some of what they're looking for are things like your long life juice, but they cannot accept the two litre bottles. That's one of the big things that they've told me. So if you're going to donate any kind of diluting juices, make sure it's for like the 750 CL bottles. So just the slightly smaller ones is what they're looking for. So um, that's one thing I can... They also send puddings as well because we're coming into that festive time and need stuff like that too. I'm going to go because I'm getting in everybody's way. So Martin, can you just tell us a little bit about West Lothian Food Bank? The West Lothian Food Bank is here that's set up to help people in crisis. Uh, so what we do is we give people three days emergency food, three meals a day. We're under the Trussell Trust uh, umbrella and they give us nutritional value to put in, a, in an allocation for people that are in the crisis. So we, because West Lothian people are so generous uh, at giving us food, we can actually give them a wee bit more food than the, than the guidelines give us. So what we do is we give them a, a pack, it's called an allocation, we give them the allocation, the allocation then uh, goes to one of our 11 distribution centres, which we have a list here. They go into that uh, distribution centre and they get a cup of tea, a chat, people, uh, the volunteers of which are 240 uh, across West Lothian. They have a chat with people, a cup of tea, just nice, something nice and relaxed. Uh, and we tend to get more information out of them than uh, they would normally get a professional. Uh, so we can actually help signpost them to uh, wherever they, would, they need to go, whether it be benefit help, debt help, even addiction help, we can signpost them to people that's going to help them out in a crisis. Alright, so Douglas, what kind of things is it you're looking for? Basically, we're looking for a number of items. One of them is uh, orange, orange or any fruit squash around the 75 centilitre to 1 litre size. We're also looking for UHT milk. So, you know, whether that be any colour of UHT milk, whether it's uh, full fat, semi-skimmed, or totally skimmed, anything would be great. But really, one of the main things we're looking for is sponge pudding. And these are the ones that don't go into the fridge. And, you know, they are like gold dust when we're in the warehouse because we get so few of them. And we're so lucky today that somebody's actually donated two. But no, it'd be great if we got sponge puddings, squash, UHT milk, or other things that we do need are things like tin cold meats. And these can be either things that you heat up in the, the microwave, but more importantly, likes of ham or gammon or spam that can be eaten cold because we also look after people who are, are staying in places like B&Bs where they don't get food and their only thing they're is a kettle 
so we can do mug shots and hot noodles that they get heat from but also cold meat so that they've got something to eat. My name's Janet Snyder. Janet and what have you been doing for the donation I've food bank? I've been today in Tesco Bakke and we're just here at our sort of station here for the food bank, for Wessel Doom Food Bank um, and we have been taking in some of the food parcels from customers that are in the Tesco store today and um, we are taking monetary donations as well in our bucket um, to help towards the food bank. Um, we have a range of information here all about the food bank um, and the running of it. We have some leaflets here um, for people who might want to volunteer in the capacity in the food bank. We have a range of roles that people can get involved in um, and the spare time that they can offer to the food bank. Um, we have a Facebook page that people can keep up to date with and on Twitter. Lillian, West Lillian Food Bank. See if we can give it to focus. There we go. Perfect. And twitter.com forward slash WL Food Bank. And we also raise funds um, through uh, easy fundraising. So people can um, sign up to easy fundraising. They can raise funds when they shop online. It doesn't cost anything extra. And the money's going directly towards the food bank, which is really easy to do. There's an app you can set that up and it's quite simple. What's the app called? It's just easy fundraising app. Yeah, so you can do that. Uh, we also have some stats here as well, which is quite interesting for customers that are in uh, Tesco today. So, for example, um, the number of people that were fed in West Lothian so far this year for 2019 is 5,691. We expect the number to surpass that and actually run over 6,000 meals. Um, for last year, we fed 5,292, so the numbers are going up and up. Um, increasing year on year so that's why we really need people to come and donate to the food bank in any way they can their time money donations or food parcels through initiatives like this at Tesco. I think I got them enough puddings now I could be wrong but I think I've got enough I'm just debating whether or not I also want to get them jelly don't know if that's exactly what they need I might get some. So I decided to forgo the jelly and instead I'm going to get some of the juices that they're looking for and see if that helps them. So that's me just finished the volunteering. I dropped off all the puddings that we bought. So I bought quite a few puddings because that was what they were talking about. And you can find them on the non-refrigerated ones because sometimes people don't even have a fridge. So I've dropped them off and I got some fresh juice as well. I got what I could afford because it's coming up to the end of the month now. And I've not been paid yet, but hopefully it's enough to help a couple of families out at least over the festive period. I'm now about to head home because I've got to edit this week's vlog. But what I wanted to say guys before I go is that never underestimate just one act of kindness okay so if something's going on in your area whether it be food bank related whether it be anything to do with homelessness or anything any kind of volunteer work or anything in your areas don't be scared to get involved get out there get involved i met some of the nicest people i've ever met in my life today everybody was absolutely lovely so friendly and approachable even the volunteers who were only there for two two hours at a time were some of the nicest people i've ever met so please 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 don't don't be, don't be scared to go out and get involved with things. And if you stay in the West Lothian area or anywhere around it, please look up donating to your local food bank because I'm pretty sure the guys would really appreciate it. We're coming into the hard winter months now and there's loads of families in Scotland that could do with just a little bit of help. So maybe even check out around your area, wherever you are in the world, to see if there's a food bank that you can even donate to because everybody needs a little help from time to time. But that's all I've got time for today, guys. So you can check out some of my other videos down below and my ladder last of the week over there. I know it was a short one, but I will return next week with normal vlogs. And until then, haste you back guys.